Hello everyone, it's great to catch up with you again. This is Automotive Press. I've got some uh, good updates to show you. I know that many of you guys have been watching my channel for the updated 2022 Toyota Tundra information. And what I've done now is based on some new information, I have updated the rendering. So this is a very simple video so please watch right to the end because I'm going to go through all four versions of the Tundra and show you what I've done to update it so that they are even more accurate than ever before. Uh, very flattered to see many of you guys visit my channel through the connection with um, a number of other YouTubers such as TFL. I'm very thankful for that um, connection and I'm here to show you uh, more up-to-date information so stay with me for a second here uh, so this is the updated rendering that I've now just completed of the four TRD and limited and the sport versions so all four variations of the Tundras are shown here and I'm gonna go through each one to tell you what I've done to make this rendering even more accurate than ever so I think previously I was saying that I'm confident that they are about 90% accurate. I think these are now 90 to 93% accurate. So why, why is that? Why am I convinced these are even more accurate than before? Well, here's a couple of things. Uh, as a reminder, first of all, that we had these type of um, spy photos or scoops. Uh, these are photos that were taken on the real road and for the most part we have not seen anything new since these photos have been leaked. So uh, the only thing I've noticed is that I, I've taken a little bit closer look at the scale and the size of the grill and the headlight. Um, now keep in mind that this particular version might be the heavy duty version of the Tundra if they are going to introduce such a version because of the large mirrors or those mar large mirrors could just be there for, you know, for show. It's hard to say. But anyway, these are the a number of uh, photos that we have seen already, and you've seen them already on the, on the net. Uh, and uh, interestingly enough, as I took a closer look through them, I have noticed some more additional details. Now, things have not changed since that time. There has not been any more sighting or any additional new scoops or spy photos that have come our way. I will be one of the first one to um, see the new ones if they do come out. So obviously I'll have that uh, on our channel right away. Uh, but since these ones have come out, there hasn't been any more new ones. And of course, I also went back and looked at some of the other uh, leaks, such as this one. This is like, as I mentioned before, the most accurate photo likely of the real 2022 Tundra. We don't know where this was taken and how it was taken, but it shows the six lug um, wheels and the angle of these uh, grill and the um, actual texture and uh, the size of the headlight. Those are all the things I've uh, re-confirmed uh, and made some adjustment to my rendering. And you can see the low fog lamp here as well. And these are the, the perhaps the, some of the more difficult ones to decipher because these are very blurry. But, um, but these are actual 2022 Tundra, again, leaked photos of someone who was at a, some kind of marketing event, perhaps. So what I've done is I just took a notice of the, uh, the dimensions of this and I re-measured uh, to scale the size of this emblem, for example. And... Um, of course, we don't know which version of this Tundra is, because it's, but because it's got the light bar and the fog lamps, I'm going to assume this is the um, this is the TRD Pro. The mirror here is the normal size. It's not like the heavy duty version that we saw earlier. So I think this is a TRD Pro version. So I've also reflected some of those changes in the rendering I'm about to show you. Uh, this is the side angle, so I think I mentioned to you guys before, I measured the angle and made sure that everything was to scale. So I just went and checked it and made a little bit more adjustment. I also confirmed and checked the bumper size and so forth. Uh, and uh, here we go. So as a result, these four rendering, all of them have been updated to reflect some of the new findings and just my further reflection of uh, what those uh, photos and leaked uh, pictures really show. So let me go through each one of this really quickly 
and so that I can tell you what was changed and why this is now the most accurate rendering you will see anywhere anywhere on the internet or on the YouTube. So here's the first one is the Tundra TRD Sport. Uh, the basic change I made is first of all, I made this grill bigger. Uh, and the reason why is looking at the previous scoop photos and leaked photos, I've noticed that uh, the grill size is actually a bit bigger than what I had in my previous rendering. So I made this um, uh, grill a bit bigger, a little bit wider, a bit taller. And so it's much more dimensionally accurate to the leaked photo. I also uh, darkened some of these um, lines that you see on the grill because I think they're a little bit darker in the, in the photos I've seen. That part, of course, is a little hard to tell. And I made some tweaks around the contour here. I made some tweaks here. I made some changes in the back and um, readjusted some of the contours here and cleaned up some stuff here as well. So overall, I made a, a clean, clean change. And um, the TRD Sport, uh, at least in 2021 model, there is a hood scoop. So I'm going to assume that hood scoop even though I know it's a fake one and it's not functional, I'm gonna assume that's gonna stay for 2022. So the TRD Sport, um, well, I think, assume, I will assume that it will have the hood scoop, it will have this larger grille and the blacked out the front grille as well. So those are changes I made on the TRD Sport. And then this is the TRD Off-Road. Now this is the biggest change I made, and this is a bit of a gamble. I mentioned already previously that um, uh, I know that some of you guys commented about the wheels not looking OEM. OEM means Original Equipment Manufacturer. So I, and I think I mentioned to you guys previously, the, the, yes, in, indeed, this, these wheels are supposed to be aftermarket third-party wheels. I just put them on for kind of fun because so many people who buy uh, off-road, TRD off-road, upgrade their wheels and tires. So that's what I put them there with the more rugged um, off-road tires that's slightly bigger than the normal as well. But the changes I made on this TRD off-road, this particular rendering, the biggest change is the grill. I first of all wiped out the, uh, wiped out the hood scoop, which I had on the previous rendering because um, the, usually the TRD off-road does not have a hood scoop, but instead it's got a bit of a, a front part has a, a bit of an opening here, so I, I put that there, but remove the hood scoop. And then the biggest change I made is this grill here, because the current 2021 TRD off-road has a chrome grill, um, and so I decided that, you know what, I'm gonna take a chance a bit and assume that the 2022 version will also have a chrome grill. So I've added this chrome grill, which I'm sorry, I'm kind of marking it up so it's hard to see now. And, uh, you know, just because I don't have the latest information on this particular section, I've added and used the existing 2021 type honey grill, uh, honeycomb type grill. And instead of having a big Toyota uh, words in here, I kept the logo Toyota emblem in the front. So uh, I also cleaned up some stuff in here, some stuff in here, some stuff in here, and some stuff in here. So I made a whole bunch of changes to clean up. And But the biggest change again is the, uh, the TRD off-road. Uh, the new rendering shows a different grill, which has chrome bezel or chrome surrounding uh, and a single Toyota emblem instead of the word Toyota spelled out. So that's the biggest change I made to the TRD uh, off-road rendering. And I think this is most likely more accurate now than it was before. Now, now let's go to the Tundra Limited. This is the one I didn't have to make too much change, too much, uh, change uh, because I think it's pretty accurate. I, what I did is enlarge this grill again. When I measured it again, I think the, the previous rendering um, the word Toyota, the emblem, is a bit small to scale, so I made about 10 to 15 percent larger. I've uh, re-highlighted these grills, these lines, to make it a little bit brighter, because I think they're actually chrome or chrome-like, and so I made that a little bit brighter, and I made sure that this line here is also a little bit brighter. Uh, again, same as the other end rendering, I cleaned up some lines and contours around here. I made sure that the hood scoop was not there and not visible. 
and some cleaned up some stuff here underneath the um, truck as well so this is a um, pretty clean version of the limited not as many changes i made to this rendering compared to the other two uh, but uh, i'm very confident you'll look a lot like this i think uh, if anything maybe uh, in my next iteration i'll change the um, uh, the dimensions of these grill lines here i think they're actually a little bit wider in the scoop photo uh, but for now, it's pretty good. I think this is, again, 90-92% accurate. Uh, finally, I've got uh, Tundra TRD Pro, which I've also gone through and made additional adjustment and basically what, I've, what I call the tuning up of the diagram or rendering. So uh, the um, Tundra TRD Pro does have the hood scoop still, uh, but uh, here's a change. I made a change to this Toyota emblem. It's much bigger about 20% bigger than my previous emblem, uh, sorry, my previous uh, rendering. And I also moved it up a little bit because it was a bit low. Uh, so I moved that a little bit and made it a little bit bigger. I think now dimensionally, this front part is very, very accurate, very accurate to the scoop photos and leaks. Uh, I cleaned up some stuff in here. Again, I cleaned up st some stuff in here and here and also here just to make everything look a little bit better uh, but not 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 a lot of changes here that's about all the changes i made it still has the front uh, light bar and two fog lamp as well as the indicator amber lights here and then of course you can't see it but there will be three indicator uh, amber lights in the back potentially uh, because we suspect that the TRD Pro version is likely more than 80 inches wide. And by law, by regulation, you have to have these uh, amber light. Of course, the question is, is there uh, amber light in the front? Uh, perhaps, so I put something here, these three for now. I don't know if that's legit in terms of meeting the regulation. Maybe amber lights have to be over here in the front grill, I'm not sure. And of course, we're not quite sure if the TRD Pro version is the one that's more than 80 inches wide and therefore requiring those amber lights. But definitely one of the leaked photos did show the required government um, mandated um, amber lights. So one of the version of the Tundra will be the wider version, uh, wider than 80 inches. And I suspect that will be the TRD Pro. That kind of makes sense. That's what Ford did with the Raptor. The Raptor is wider than the other ones. And therefore, it has the, these amber indicator lights. So um, anyway, so that's the, all the changes I made. Um, so let me go back quickly through here. And here we go. So these are all four of them together. And um, I hope that you find it um, more useful. It is definitely more accurate. Again, 90 to 92, 93% accurate. I'm going to keep updating this. I want to work a little bit more on the TRD off-road front grille and also the limited front grille. And um, the other ones I think is pretty, pretty accurate. I also want to work on the rear rendering and maybe even the side profile. A lot of you guys have asked for the interior rendering. That's been a difficult one. There hasn't been any leaks of the interior, but I've got a pretty good feel for what the interior will look like. So I'm going to start working on that and create an interior um, scoop or interior rendering for you uh, because I think it's going to borrow some elements from the new 300 series Land Cruiser and there has been a leak of the interior of that truck or SUV out there. So I fortunately, I speak Japanese, I read Japanese, so I've got some sources in Japan working on this for me and I will update hopefully the interior for you guys as well as the rear of the Tundra and give you a complete, complete set in a very short while. So thank you again for watching. I will continue to update inf more information on 2022 uh, Tundra and uh, the more information I have, the more I will update. So thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you very soon. Take care, bye-bye.